What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something other than a hair product review. I know I said I was going to do it a while back and I have not, but today is that day. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Lawnmower 2.0 by Manscaped. It's kind of like a way different product. It's still in grooming, but it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of way different. So if you're interested in this, then you're going to want to stick around. But we're going to get started in 3, 2, 1. All right, y'all, so before I get into this review, I just want to say a huge thank you to Manscaped for sending out this product. I really appreciate them, you know, sending their product, letting me review it, and then making this review for everyone else. So if you guys are interested in the product, you know, be sure to go check it out. But I'm going to go ahead and dive into this review. When you first get the product, you get it in this, like, nice, simple, minimalistic box. Nothing too fancy, but it's also well done, I think, because you're not going to actually keep the box. It's just something for presentation purposes when you get the actual product. And overall, I think it's pretty well done. On the back side, you get the Landmower 2.0, like a diagram, and they just broken down by some facts about it. So I'm going to go through a few of them, not to bore you, just the, the high-level ones that I think are really important. So they had a 1.0 version of this, and it's been upgraded to about 6,000 RPMs. I don't know what the previous one was, but I know it's a huge step up forward. Um, it's rechargeable by USB. It has a 60-minute usage on each full charge. So it is a chargeable. It doesn't take batteries or anything. And this is 100% uh, waterproof. I'm really skeptical about that. I'm not really sure if it is actually 100% waterproof. I don't, I'm not sure if anything is actually 100% waterproof, but I can tell you that it is 100% showerproof. I used it in the shower and everything, and I had no problems at all. It could be 100% waterproof, but I just think that waterproof is just a you know sketchy word in it of its own because when when you deal with like things like watches it says water resistant versus waterproof and it kind of gets like the words kind of get a little muddled uh so i don't even know if muddled is the right word i think uh muffled is the right word anyways it's uh also super quiet has got low vibration which i can totally vouch for i'm gonna show you it i can show you when i turn it on and uh, you can actually listen to it it's actually quite uh, very, it's quite uh, low vibration and, and it's actually very quiet as well. Um, it says it's uh, uniquely designed for those hard to reach places and sensitive in se sensitive regions. And I'll go into more detail about that. I think it's, yeah, I'll get into more detail about that. Um, it says it has new skin safe anti nick feature. Um, I think from the most part it does. Um, there are some things I want to talk about in more detail as we go on later in the review. Um, it has adjustable guided combs. In other words, it has snap-on snap like uh, uh, guards that you can put on there. It comes with two, but it actually has four different guard lengths. So like each one has, there's one on each side of the guard. So like on one side it has three millimeter, and then when you flip around the other side it's six millimeter. And then the other guard is nine millimeter and then 12 millimeter. And then lastly, it has a non-slip body. It's made out of like mat, some matte, like uh, soft soft f f like feeling rubberized textured type thing but anyways that's basically what it says on the back i'm going to actually show you the product now you open it up like this and inside is this is what you get you get the lawnmower 2.0 you get like a little cleaning device the charger and then the two uh guards as well so the presentation not too not too crazy but it does the job it's perfect it's simple and gets straight to the point um the device is actually pretty small like compared to my hand it's, it fits in my my palm pretty pretty easily um the cleaning tool i'm not gonna really it's i mean i'm not gonna take it out it's all you do is you brush this with the cleaning tool it's nothing nothing crazy the charger i'm gonna keep in the box because it's not anything crazy uh, I'm gonna grab the guards out. They're pretty cool um, standard guards that you see at like whatever the barber shop or everything um, There are two little notches on each side I don't know if you can see it like one right here and then one right here and kind of you just kind of like clip it on I can do this right There we go Jesus all right, so now it looks like this and it kind of so I'll go into more detail. So, so basically what I wanted to get at is, okay, so this product is awesome. I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm going to continue to use it, but there's some things I just, 
I think could have been improved on, right? So it says skin safe technology, and it's definitely true to some extent, right? Uh, you can use it in sensitive areas. You can use it in any area that you have hair. Um, my s biggest suggestion is don't use it on any like loose skin. And then that, I'm trying to be in the most respectful manner possible. So like your family jewels. So like this is like on their website, they market so crazy, which is I really appreciate that a lot because a lot of companies are super formal of how they present their product. But Manscaped went a whole different route. They're just really fun with it. Uh, really, uh, I think they're really going for the younger crowd, like the 18 to 30 range. Because they say funny things of how they market it. They're, one of their lines is, uh, you know, pr uh, protect your family jewels. Uh, you know, it's just like funny, like kooky little things. Kooky, I don't, I don't know why I even said kooky. Like just funny, weird things. And uh, yeah, I really applaud their marketing. I think it's really unique. It's like unstructured, uh, informal, and just... It's just kind of like how people normally talk. It's not like when you go to work and things like that, it's like so structured and formal. I almost feel like it's almost not natural because not everyone's like formal and natural on a regular basis. People like talk like you're talking to a friend and that's kind of how Manscaped markets, markets themselves, which is very awesome. But anyway, I got distracted there. Uh, so when they say you can trim, you know, or like – you can shave sensitive areas and not worry about nicks and stuff. Um, I wouldn't recommend going around loose skin. So anything that's in the sensitive areas or anywhere on your body for that matter that has loose skin, um, don't use just the blade because it will, um, it will nick. Uh, I took one for the team. You're welcome. Uh, I, I had to try it just because, you know, it said that, but, uh, from my own experience, it does, uh, it's pretty sketchy. Like that area in general is just sketchy. So like to bring something, even if it says skin safe, it's, it's still a little sketchy. So my resolution is if you're going to, you know, even get even close to like any loose skin regions or anything like that, or your family jewels for guys, um, and you want like a kind of close shave, use a three millimeter guard and then do it. I think you'll have a better success rate or uh, ability to clean or, uh, you know, groom that area rather than just using this. If any, any, any region where it's um, like firm skin, like either your arm or like any region that where the, the skin doesn't like, uh, like fold or uh, I, I'm sorry. Like I'm, I'm trying to like say this in the most respectful manner, but like, any like, you know, like loose skin, man. I, I don't know how else to say it without being like kind of weird about it. Um, it's kind of like a weird thing to talk about, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I hope I hope I'm I hope I'm making sense. Like so the family for guys, family jewels, like for girls, I think this could product could be used for a girl. The reason why I think it's marketed towards men mostly is because girls when they shave their legs or like their arms, they want like baby soft skin, like not no no signs of hair at all. Where this, when you just use this guard, it gives you like a, uh, it, it cuts it really short, but like it still gives you like a, sh a, like a stubble type feel. You know what I'm saying? Like when you shave your face or anything, you kind of get like that little stubbly like type of feeling. Um, not necessarily like baby soft, like smooth. So that's maybe why it's marketed towards guys and not towards girls, but girls definitely could use this um, as well, I think, personally. Um, yeah, so... My experience is if you're going to get that close to like loose skin or like, I know I'm saying loose skin in quotes, it's, I'm sorry, but if you're going to just slap a guard on it, I'm telling you, you won't regret it. I took one, for, I took one for the team it and it's like that area is just sketchy to start with anyways. So like, um, yeah, just slap a guard on it. A anything, but everything else, I'm very, very satisfied with it. I think the battery life is awesome. I think that it can go in water. I just leave it in my shower, which is awesome. I think the grip and everything is awesome. You can hear it. It's. It might sound a little louder on. 
but it's not. It's really quiet. It just vibrates. It sounds it sounds really smooth and nice and high quality. It feels it feels got nice nice little weight to it, so it it does feel high quality. It's around I think I think it retails between like thirty or forty bucks. I forget what their actual number is. I think it might be forty, but it's not bad because if you think about it, you're buying a bunch of razors, and it also saves a lot of time anyways. So like if you're a type of guy that just wants to be able to groom really quickly and just get it over with like i was able to like groom my groom uh my sensitive area i guess you know <laughs> oh god uh yeah in like three minutes like which is incredibly fast um so i was actually really impressed the first time i used this i was like i i, I opened the box i took it out and i just you know just went for it and i was like whoa like that that's is like it's insanely crazy like how how easy and butter smooth it is like you just go right through your hair and like you know i don't know if you if any of you guys lived in like the winter and you had the snow blow and like how the snow like kind of piles up while you push it that's kind of what the hair does it like it it just like grabs everything and, it, and you pull it off and it's just like one smooth motion uh it's crazy man it's like it's like smooth as butter i think i'm rambling again but i get so into it like it's crazy like if you're someone that needs to save time and you want to like groom really quickly and you just need something that's just fast, easy to remove like any type of hair on your body, um, it's not necessarily going to be baby smooth, but it's going to be stubble like. So just keep that in mind. Um, they do come with guards. So if you want to shave any parts of your body and you want to keep retain hair, you can use it on your face. Even if, you don't have to even use this in sensitive area. They just market it towards that because I don't think anything in the market is marketed towards this or like your sensitive area in general. So I think that's why they w took advantage of it and they wanted to, you know, kind of go towards sensitive area, but you can easily use this for like your hair on your head, not necessarily like other regions of your body. Um, you can definitely just grow this on it and then like, you know, trim up your sides or whatever it may be. So it's not necessarily just for the sensitive regions. That's just how they market it. And so that's kind of how I tested it. Um, it's so weird. It's just so weird to like, like, yeah, I tested it in my sensitive regions and stuff. It's just so crazy. I just, I mean, that's what it's meant for. So I used it the way it was intended to. Um, I think it's a great product. I'm going to continue to use it. If you guys are interested, I'll leave Manscaped's website link below. Go ahead and check it out. But yeah, I appreciate it again, Manscaped, for sending this out. It's really dope. Um, I, I've never tried a product like this. I think the marketing was fantastic. I think you guys did a great job with the product. I think... It can be used for women. I think uh, it's called Manscaped, so it's marketed towards men, but women, you can use it. Um, I just think it's more ideal for men. Um, and I also think it's uh, it's a good gift to give to a guy. If you're in a relationship or whatever, uh, I think a guy would appreciate this for sure. But I think I went into a lot of detail. I don't know if I left anything out. If I did, um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Like I'll definitely answer. Like You can ask any, any of my subscribers or anything. I try to answer every comment I can, um, the best I can, um, just so I can help you know better equip you guys with more knowledge before you make a purchase. I know uh, I don't like wasting other people's money or time, so if you guys have any questions at all, just leave it below. Um, if you enjoy this type of video, give it a thumbs up. It's not a hair product review. Uh, I'm starting to get into more um, other types of you know reviews. I do have a lot more hair products that I, I need to go through still. Um, so I will continue to do the hair product reviews, but I'm going to start throwing different ones in there. So if you like this type of review, um, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you're brand new to the channel, please hit that subscribe. It means a lot. I think the family's grown a lot. We've grown a lot actually in the last couple of weeks. I, want, I, I never thought I would like pass 100 subscribers and now I'm at 110. And I know I, I always say this, like it, it doesn't seem like a lot, like moving from like 100 to 110, like moving 10. But for me, the, like the, the change from 100 to 110 is like so granular. Like it's so big for me. Like honestly, it's insane. Versus someone with like a hundred plus thousand subscribers going from a hundred thousand to like, you know, 200,000. It's not like that big of a deal once you get to that level. But for me, like being on this level, just like people watching my views, watching my videos and giving me the views and giving me the time of day is insane. So anyways, I've been rambling. It's about almost 14 minutes. And then with the intro, it'll be like one of my longest rev reviews ever. But I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.